Hello everyone, I'm Yamino, the artist of Sister Claire, and I'm joined tonight by... The one, the only, the incredible, the indelible, Ash Barnes. We're also joined tonight by... Sarah, here to supervise. <laughs> and... And David, here to eat pizza. <laughs> <laughs> I asked David, like, hey, do you want to come... <laughs> it's like, do you want to come with us, David? He was like... Mm. I was like, there's going to be pizza. <laughs> he runs upstairs and throws his clothes on. <laughs> David making the real decisions. <laughs> I just hit my leg really hard on some random metal piece under the table. Why is it there right where knees go? I'm sorry. It's very painful. 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 <sighs> so I've set up the... Um, the sketch already and now I'm just gonna do a tiny bit more sketch refining I don't actually know what they're gonna be wearing here what should Jackson wear <laughs> I want Jackson to wear something nice and <laughs> fashionable <clears throat> she could still be wearing that jacket it's a nice jacket Please let me know if anybody is asking me questions or anything, because I can't see them right now. <laughs> Space Budgie said that they thought they almost missed the stream, and then they got my name. <laughs> Morgan said, I love that first bit of editing we see. Is someone getting their butt adjusted? Yeah. <laughs> butt adjustment. Expert. That's me. Laura votes for Jackson and Shorts. Oh, okay. Uh, wear a skirt. She doesn't tend to wear skirts. <clears throat> I don't think she would have brought them on this trip anyway. Um, I was going to just draw her in her same like jeans jacket thing, but yeah, I could. Or it's not a jeans jacket, sorry. Her... Her like cool seventies jacket and jeans. Um, trying to find a picture of her that I've done where I could steal the color palette from it. This is not the best one. <clears throat> I'm tempted to draw in something new because it is the last chapter and all. And maybe Esperanza just happened to have some like perfectly sized seventies outfit for her to wear, just like she had some outfits for Claire to wear. Well, also, remember, uh, Marguerite has her bag of holding, so there could be any kind of outfit in there. That's true. I know. Let's look at 70s funk fashion together, shall we, children? <laughs> look, wait, I just, yeah. Oh, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Damn. That'll work. Mm. Do it. What's her name? It's on the tip of my tongue. She was a very popular, like, black exploitation actress. Uh, I've seen Pam, No, Pam Greer. That's her name. Pam Greer. Um, I've seen some movies <laughs> with her. She is really cool. Yeah. Hmm. I really like this look, but I'm going to look up more Pam Greer just to see if I can find any more cool outfits. Hmm. Look how cool she is. Oh, my. There's. This is not the not safe for work live stream. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my <laughs> scrolls quickly there's a lot of titty here <laughs> Matt asked what happened to all their uniforms they're all in the same bag that uh, Bloody Mary usually lives in <laughs> in Marguerite's bag of holding they've just temporarily taken them off hmm. I think my favorite is the one that we already saw <laughs> this one here <clears throat> mm hmm, hmm. I could do like a whole book of fashions for Jackson. She's the most fashionable character there is. <laughs> I could see Jackson wearing something like this too. Mm hmm Oh yeah. Laura asked, is the sexy lingerie in the bag? Oh my. <laughs> it might be. 
I don't know that they really brought along a lot of lingerie on this trip. <laughs> oh. I don't know that they wanted to say, hey, Marguerite, can you hold on to this for us? <laughs> yeah. Marguerite would have given them this sort of, like, deadpan look and been like, fine. <laughs> Is this necessary? Unfortunately, you don't really get to see her outfit in any of these shots, but you will later. I can showcase it in the next pages. Hmm. Avatar Tag wants you to know, Hey Yamino, a Rosa Versailles art book just got announced. Ooh, I want it. I want it. Is there a link? I want to see. Mm. Matt says, this is my first live draw with David and Sarah in it. Who is David? Oh, I should have mentioned, David's my brother. Yes. Uh, I, um, I was present in the, some of the early uh, live draws. Um, but, uh, oh yeah. But he's the strong, silent type. <laughs> I drew an icon for you and everything. You're still not uh, able to log on, David? Or the, I mean, the the stream, uh, it just it's loading forever. Yeah, <laughs> try refreshing. Anybody else have any issues? The rest of the chat seems to be hearing us okay. <clears throat> oh, here you go, dear. Fiftieth anniversary. I'm talking about the Rose of Versailles art book. Oh, there's pictures of anime cells. Oh, it's mostly of the anime though. I'm more interested in the. Can you scroll up a bit? I I like the manga more than the anime. Oh. I love the way she draws. Oscar's impossibly ridiculously long legs. There are panels where, and she's wearing bell bottoms because, like, she drew it in the seventies. <laughs> so she's like in a French court wearing sparkly bell bottoms, and her legs take up like ninety percent of the page. It was a good time, a fresh time, sparkly time. <laughs> Hmm? 
Chibi Chibi says, did you guys hear about Cloudbleed? If you have Patreon, change your passwords. I did not hear about that. I don't know what you're talking about. I have recently changed the password on it, but I'll change it again. Can you Google what that is? Uh Uh-huh. Yes, I will. What should we go there? I like her wearing not very much. What should who wear? Olga. Because I want to show off the new armor shirt, so I think I'll just have her wearing a tank top again. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but make it interesting this time. Interesting how? Well, not a white, like, That's kind of how Olga is, though. She wears, like, really brutalitarian At, at least make it a different color. Like, I'm sure Jackson could have insisted. What if it has some small, cute thing? Well, you wouldn't see it here anyway, because it's no. like all shots. You of could give hands. it like a black rim, or you could make it like a high neck halter top type. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh huh. Wouldn't show off her rippling she, pectorals. Jagged collarbones, but. I mean, I can still make it pretty tight enough that you can see. I don't know. I think I'm just going to give her a tank top and make it a little more... Give it a little more oomph. We can have a a border here. (laughs) Polina Castle said, Olga in a tank top with a puppy on it. (laughs) Aww. <laughs> I really like that panel of Jackson on the rock. Me too. So I, cute. I had Sarah pose for this. Did you? <laughs> so I could get the right. <laughs> Shot in the the hands right. No one you I do. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I love it that there are certain like panels in the in the comic that I can look at and know Elena took a picture of like one of us for reference or uh-huh. herself. Mm-hmm. Like the picture of Catherine with her hands in the water during the big shard fight scene. Those were your hands. Those are my from, hands. From, they look uh, like your hands blue dot. too. Yeah, we were at blue dot when I took your picture. <laughs> And there's, you know the panel where the twins fight Olga very much earlier on in the comic? Mm -hmm. And they appear in the doorway and do that pose. I took a picture of myself for each of those, and then in Photoshop I combined it (laughs) so that I could figure out the hands and everything. So somewhere, probably on an old computer, there's a Photoshop picture of me as both of the twins doing these kung fu poses. (laughs) During the last live stream, I opened up your, um, well, you went to the bathroom, I opened up your photo booth to say hi to everyone. <laughs> and there were all these little no. pictures in the scroll of you Ash, taking pictures of yourself. You should know, Ben, it is embarrassing, politically sensitive <laughs> pictures in there. I, it occurred to me after the fact that, oh, this could have been bad. <laughs> yeah, this could have been bad. I think one of the only reasons I did it was because Elena had opened up the photo, photo booth earlier in the mm-hmm. same live stream, so... Matt is asking, is this a longer page than normal? I don't think so, no. All the pages are the same size. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's, maybe it's a bit much for Jackson to wear earrings as well. I don't know why she would be wearing them right now. Because they won't be Yeah. And they're out in the beautiful fields. What is the rush? I think I'll just... To do. Just the hair. I think I'll just have the hair. Okay. I will ink. I'll do a little more for eye 
is a little fun story. That's better, huh? Talk fast. Talk fast. Objection. We were joking earlier about how Olga looks like Sonic. Alternatively, if you're more into lawyer games, she looks like Phoenix, right? Is that where you got the inspiration from? No, <laughs> I got the inspiration from her character originally from oh, Helga Thomas. Sinclair from mm -hmm. Atlantis. Yeah. Um, but her hairstyle is not like Helga's. Her hairstyle is, maybe it was subconsciously influenced by, but when I first designed her, she didn't, I didn't know what her hair looked like because she wore the wimple all the time. And I had to like invent hair for her. And then I thought she would have short hair. Not all the nuns do, but she would, I felt. Mm -hmm. So I gave her a very pointy, severe looking hairstyle. Okay, and now I'm going to take it. I don't need to be seeing this. Okay. Any questions? Oh, that's an interesting uh, question. Paulina wants to know, do any of the nuns from the Mercy Abbey have pierced ears? Yeah. I'm sure that Jackson has pierced ears. Yeah, Jackson has pierced ears. Um, Oscar might? I think the twins do. Yeah, I think Oscar's ears are pierced. Mm -hmm. I don't know about Catherine, but I think so. She, If she doesn't have them pierced now, like they were at some point. Yeah. But I'm pretty sure that, yeah. Uh it may be that she hasn't worn earrings in long enough that they've closed mm -hmm. up by now, but I don't. I actually don't know if Oscar has either. She may hers may have closed up. Well, some people some people just don't close. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> Magic. Yeah. I can go for like half a year and then be like, I feel like wearing earrings today. I take just one. shove them through. <laughs> it's a little harder to put oh, them through, but stop. it doesn't it doesn't hurt or anything, and it doesn't. Mm -hmm. it's, I take one shower without earrings. I have to get them. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> God. Game over, man. Game, <laughs> Game over. over. It's because your body over, just man. wants to heal. Game over. <clears throat> um, Claire's ears are not pierced. If she's ever seen wearing earrings, they're probably clip-ons. <laughs> <clears throat> Why is my babe not taking This is an old version. Oh, maybe it's under here. I'm trying to work up the courage to <laughs> get my ears pierced again. You should. I really think it won't be a problem. <laughs> that was like Shakira when the water is too hot. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if I can make her noise. <laughs> no, not really. It was it's not so like funny. a goat. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder. Let's test this out. <laughs> <laughs> you can do it, Dash. You can get them first. Oh. I'll hold your hand. Hold <laughs> we'll both hold your hand. I'll hold your feet. She'll hold your hands. God. <laughs> <laughs> we'll throw you into Claire's and you'll get pierced. <laughs> you can walk out with so many cute earrings, Ash. All at once or like... Right now. <laughs> you can <laughs> How many piercings you want? <clears throat> I just had this horrible image of like, how many piercings would you have to get to have the whole store, like just to buy everything and wear all of it? Let's not think so about that. So many piercings. That's just. 
You know, at Christmas, my mom and I like to make oranges that have cloves in them, and I used to press a clove into, like, every square inch of the orange until it was just a ball of cloves. That's what you would look like if you got that many piercings. <laughs> just like... <laughs> anyway. That's so funny. <laughs> like, I would be... It's not even the, like, the pain or anything. It's that I had that scar tissue in my ears, and I'm worried about it being a troublesome... Endeavor. It's, so I would it's like really to. Okay, I think it would be fine. I would like to go to a tattoo parlor to get them done, like an actual piercer, not Claire's that uses a staple gun. <laughs> like, let's not. You could go to Dog Star. Yeah, yeah I know. I also had my ears pierced, and they healed up with all kinds of scar tissue, and I just got them stapled down pierced as well. <laughs> but go to a parlor; if it will make you more comfortable. Yeah. Like, I'm not, I'm not afraid of getting a tattoo at all. I- excepting the part where, like, what if I don't like the result? <laughs> you know, I'm not afraid of the process, I should say. Oh, Matt asked, What does everyone else in the room tend to do while you work? What do you do while you work, David? Uh, I'm... <laughs> I'm writing <laughs> notes and uh, preparing a, a an adventure for the the Star Wars role playing game mm-hmm. by uh, Fantasy Flight Games. Um, I am. Uh, David wants my, to be the GM for a game. Yeah, this will be my first time GMing. So I'm excited, but <clears throat> nervous. He's going to be excellent. <laughs> David knows everything about Star Wars ever, and if he, if he doesn't know it, he will soon know it. <clears throat> what do you tend to do while you work, Sarah? I, if I'm like studying or doing work that I don't want to do, I motivate myself with snacks. <laughs> Sarah likes to eat. <laughs> was, was he asking what do you, all of you individually do when you do your own work, or is he saying what do you do while I'm drawing the page? Well, I, I think it could have been interpreted either way. Mm-hmm. Like, I think, I think oh. David's answer was perfectly valid. Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> while Elena draws the page, I look over her shoulder and look back at Tumblr and text people. Good <clears throat> job, myself. You did a really nice watercolor today while we were at... I want the to see. parlor, ice cream parlor. Yeah, she should she, she. Uh, What do I do while Elena's working? I also watch over her shoulder. I look at the chat, and I talk to Laura. <laughs> Sometimes I watercolor or I write. And by write, I mean handwrite. Whoa. Who this? That's the character for my passion fruit. Submission. Oh. Very nice. <clears throat> I like the hair. Thank you. And the snake. It's inspired by Meryl Streep. Which is an excellent thing slash person to be inspired by. Oh, God. Ouch, ouch. That sounds painful. <laughs> <clears throat> Matt asks David, did you see Rogue One? Oh yes, uh, I I enjoyed it very much, and uh, I have been pestering uh, <laughs> Ellen and Ash to, to see it. I still but, I still haven't seen it. I, yeah. uh, it does jump around a lot. Jackson is the prettiest. Jackson is pretty. She has little dimples. So cute. Oh my god. <clears throat> what happened? She has dimples. I misheard what you said and it really startled me. What did you think? I, I heard you say, she has pierced nipples. And I was like, really? Gosh, you have pierced nipples on the brain. She do. No, I don't. What the <laughs> hell? Oh <my> god. <laughs> Jesus. Just because we're talking about Dog Star. <laughs> no, I was, I just, like, I, I, 
Okay. This is the <laughs> smile of a woman who has pierced nose. <laughs> <laughs> On the brain. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, I'm safe for work live stream coming up. <clears throat> <clears throat> it's too late now. There are already titties at the beginning of it. <laughs> Matt says that Jackson looks kind of like Mumble right now. She does have that tell me more face. Mm -hmm. Oh, Ash, eh? when you did that accent, it reminded me. Uh, me and Sarah went to that bakery that we went to that was closed. Remember when we went to Durham and we went to that um, the bookstore mm -hmm. and we were also near a bakery? We went in there and we got this giant um, macaroon. It was like this big Ash. It was shaped it was like a giant Hershey face. kiss. And when we got it, the guy who worked there had an interesting accent, and um, we had to go back there eventually because I forgot my phone in the bathroom, and he had to unlock the bathroom to let us in to get it. But I overheard this lady telling him, or he was telling this lady that he was from Rome, and I was like, ah, oh, ma tu è italiano, and he was, his head whips around 180 degrees, he's like, <laughs> <laughs> So we talked in Italian for a little bit, he was really nice. Aww. It was cool to hear you speak Italian. He was like, he couldn't believe that I was from Rome. And I was like, well, io sono da Roma, ma mio padre è da Verona. He was like, oh. He said that he could tell by the way I talked that my family was from, mm -hmm. like, Verona and not from Rome. And I was like, okay, I don't believe that, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that sounds fake, but okay. Yeah, I was like, okay, the only accent I have right now is American from not speaking in forever, but okay. Maybe people from Verona sound American. I don't know. <laughs> Me, whenever I look into the sun. <laughs> no, my phone. No, I pick up that baby. Hi, Jamie. Hey, Jamie. I'm glad you could make it. I thought you weren't going to. <clears throat> I'm glad you can. Yeah, we're glad to see you. Do you mind if I have to go? No. It's too soon. Too soon. Too soon. But I would love if somebody would start water for Marty. Sorry. Someone asked, does David draw? Captain Morgan asked. David can draw. David can draw. <laughs> <laughs> get a lot of artists block. You're good at drawing yeah. spaceships and stuff. Like kind of technical drawings. When I was little I used to I like all of my I made a lot of um, like DVNR OCs like in the form of <laughs> spaceships that <laughs> they they had to have every every kind of weapon <laughs> regardless of of their role. <laughs> Wait. Is there uh, which is so, that a kettle? Uh, no, that's oh, the that's I can, the coffee. I can get it. Sorry. <clears throat> I just 
Yeah. Uh, how did you remove it just now? No, that's not how you do. You oh, pour it. You put it into it. the top. Okay. BRB, guys. I have to make the tea. Okay. So. <laughs> if people want the kitten sound, it's this. <laughs> hmm. I do that a lot without even thinking about it. Chibi Chibi asks, is the kitten noise you? Yes, it's me. <laughs> That's Sarah. <laughs> and David. <laughs> that was Sarah. <laughs> and that was guess who? I have a grandpa. <laughs> I have a grandpa that makes that noise when he tickles you, so whenever I hear that, I hear I feel this shiver down my back. What's the noise that your mom hates? <laughs> Why does she hate it? Because her mom used to do it, like, to call them out like dogs when they were doing something. She was like, <laughs> <laughs> I would hate it, too. <laughs> I need to start doing that to Rosie when she goes to eat Zeke's food. Instead of just like yelling at her and chasing her out of the living room, I'll just go. <laughs> See, when I hear that noise, I think of that vine of Marge Simpson going. <laughs> I'll crack with you, sweetie pie. My dad could do a pretty good Donald Duck. My dad could too. What's with dads who are really good at being Donald Duck? My dad can do a good Cowardly Lion. <laughs> he played it once for um, the musical, I think. Oh. You said your dad's a good singer, right? Yeah, he used to do acting and singing. I want to hear. And he still refuses to listen to Hamilton, even though he's a history What? Why? Major. Why doesn't he? He doesn't really like hip-hop, and he thinks he won't like that. Like no, he I'm, needs to just listen. I, he he needs like to it. stop being so white and just listen to you it. You know who else thought they wouldn't like it and ended up loving it? Me. Your mom? Me? You? Yes. I don't like hip-hop very much. I got I, no ash. I have a very, like, to be perfectly honest, like, I have a very narrow appreciation for music because I haven't been exposed to a lot of it. But when I listened to Hamilton, I went in fully expecting to not like it very much. And within, like, two minutes, I was like, oh, my God, play the rest of it. Don't you remember, Elena? We were going to Big Bloomers, and I was just like... <laughs> I remember you were kind of, like, groaning about me playing it in the first place. You were like, why can't we listen to some of the things we've already heard tonight? And I'm like, Ash, just give it a chance. <laughs> <laughs> and I did, and I liked it. Mm -hmm. I hope I can convince my dad to do that, because I know he would really love it. You could start him off with the King song, which is the most palatable to basic white people tastes, and then <laughs> see so how it goes from there. Hey y'all. Hey new people. Hi. You'll be back. Soon you'll see. You'll remember you belong to me. Mm -hmm. I want to sing more, but <laughs> my throat is not. What? <laughs> you should read that one. I'm scrolling through Tumblr. Someone posts, if we went to high school together, haven't spoken in a while, and you see me in Walmart, leave me alone. <laughs> Thank you! 
Sarah, I saw that shit earlier today, and I was like, me. Hashtag me. I feel bad because the last time me and Ellen I went to a grocery store together, I did see someone from my high school that goes to my school now, and I did say hi, even though we haven't spoken in like two years. Well, that's that's different. That's the grocery store. No, this is Walmart they're talking about. <laughs> People go to Walmart in sweatpants, no face on, just there to pick up their dog food and... I don't know. Wow. Cheeto puffs in the giant big jars bigger than your head. Matt just described like my ideal setting. Matt said, I'm sitting out on my porch on a glorious night with strings of lanterns and a pound of spaghetti and garlic bread watching a Sister Claire live draw. Tonight is a good night. Oh, Yeah. <laughs> that sounds awesome. That does sound nice. Sign me the fuck up. Where's our pound of spaghetti? <laughs> You have a pound of pizza. Ugh. I a want a mountain, mountain of medicine. <laughs> Why are you eating my arm? Oh, what's happening? <gasps> There's pizza in the fridge. Yeah, but I can't eat it. What are you going to eat? I don't know. How come you can't eat it? Didn't you say there's some veggie? Don't eat it. That's greasy. Right. It'll probably make me sick. <sighs> making a video? No, I'm just making it my phone. What is this? It's just a Oh, does anyone have any questions? I feel like I should prod every once in a while just to make sure. If y'all are just having a good time chilling and watching, that's also fine. No one needs to feel obligated to ask anything. <laughs> Jackson's got a hair situation going on like me right now. What? Why'd you make that so big? Me? Yeah. Why'd I make okay. what so big? This one. Well, it's fixed. Okay. It's because there's. I like to do hair that goes psh, psh, psh to yeah, frame the face. <laughs> hmm. It's my style. <laughs> it's my style, Sarah. <laughs> Matt asks I have a question about Rosie. Can she sense auras like Marie? No, she can't. She has different abilities. Well, she barks at her reflection. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like different Rosie. Different Rosie. <laughs> I thought you were joking, David. <laughs> no, it took me a second to get it, and I was like, "Oh, he's referring to our puppy." <laughs> um, in she can kind of see auras because Marie can, and because they have that telepathic connection. I think both of them may have thought in the past that they had similar abilities just because they communicate information to each other so or effortlessly. Used to. Yeah. Uh -huh. <clears throat> <laughs> um, speaking of Rosie, one of my favorite, like, Rosie is a very odd golden retriever puppy in that, well, I don't know if this is odd for puppies, but she's often startled by unexpected things in her surroundings. And by unexpected, I mean, like, a rock or <laughs> a fire hydrant or something and one night I was walking her uh, it was pretty late like you know midnight or so and it was dark and we were walking and someone had left a coffee mug or one of those like portable coffee things uh, 
next to their car on the sidewalk, and she spotted it, stiffened, and made this noise that was so cute. She went, <laughs> like it just it sounded exactly like that and I was cracking up the entire rest of the walk but I led her gently over to it and let her sniff it and then of course she tried to eat it but you know usually when I when I see that she's nervous about a fire hydrant or a large rock she didn't realize was there or something and she starts to do her boof bark or <laughs> And she'll like try to cower behind me. I'll <laughs> kind of drag her over to it and I'll pet it and be like, look, it's just a rock or just a fire hydrant. And I think I've trained her to know that it's okay means like calm the fuck down. <laughs> <laughs> My I say I say it's okay when there's like construction noises that make her <laughs> <you know>? like, <laughs> My favorite was when you were showing her that little, you know how sometimes people will stick little flags in the ground oh, yeah. to show where there's an electric line or something buried? Well, there was one fluttering <laughs> gaily in the breeze, and Elena and I were walking past it. Rosie got scared of it, and Elena was like, it's okay, and like touched it, and Rosie was like, oh, okay, and then went over and put the whole thing in her mouth. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, let me gauge how dangerous this is. Home. <laughs> <laughs> that time she didn't bark, but... I could see her head, like, whipping around every second to make sure it wasn't, like, sneaking up on us. It was making her nervous, so I had to show her, like, look, it's an inanimate object. (laughs) It's fine. Hmm. Oh, David never got to tell the chat about his brownies. Oh, but first, uh, Chibi Chibi has a question for David. Um... Do you have a time period in Star Wars history in mind for when you want to GM? Um, let's see. I'm thinking. I would like to include the planet Jeddah, so probably in like just yeah, just before the the original trilogy. But um there doesn't that mean there won't be many Jedi? Or yeah, I mean what it's uh like when you have uh characters from uh like player characters with using force and destiny careers like you're I mean it depends when you said it, but it's you're not you're not meant to be like actual Jedi. You're just uh, a very gifted, <laughs> and uh, I mean, you can like gain a higher force rating. Hmm. Like, um, uh, I saw someone's headcanon that the Rebel Alliance, like, they they keep the existence of all of their Force-sensitive operatives secret to one another, just, uh, like, as a, a security mes- uh, measure. So, yeah, all of these potential Jedi in their ranks that none of them know about each other. Uh-huh. <laughs> That would, um, it, it also explains why in, in the original trilogy there isn't, like, an army of, like, Neo-Jedi. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I just imagine Neo from the Matrix. Oh, yeah. He could be a Jedi. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm thinking it's like he, Kylo Ren did what Neo did with the, the bullets. <laughs> did he stop bullets? Or N- Neo in the Matrix Reloaded, like there's a. Well, also. No, I mean, Kylo Ren, did he stop bullets? 
or uh, in the beginning, uh, yeah, like uh, Poe uh, takes a shot at him instead of trying to fix his ship and escape <laughs> like a smart person. <laughs> But it wasn't really a bullet, it was a blaster. Or, yeah. Shot. But like, We've seen Jedi do that too. Well. Usually with their lightsaber though. Yeah. We saw Darth Vader do that when uh, Han Solo tried to shoot at him across the table. But Kylo Ren like stops the laser in midair and like when the stormtroopers are pulling Poe over, he like looks over and sees the laser. Oh yeah. Just like floating. That's right. I forgot about that part. And then when everyone leaves, he finally lets it go. <laughs> it hits the wall or something and startles a, one of the stormtroopers. Which makes me kind of wonder how those lasers work. Did, did he, like... Maybe it was like freezing time. <laughs> Maybe. Magic. Magic. Oh, Sefi wants to know. Have Rosie and Marie figured out what their abilities are, or do they still have discovering to do? They still have quite a bit of discovering to do. <laughs> <laughs> you should use that as your gnome laugh. What? In Pathfinder. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> People would like that. Maybe. <laughs> Speaking of gnomes... And, like, our Pathfinder thing. This is a really cool thing that I may have posted about on Tumblr that people might know about already if they're into these games. But, like, have you heard of this Hero Forge where you can make your own custom figurines? Here's my half-elf that I tried to make. Oh. Yeah. I like the expressions you can give it. But you can change the race, and they have gnome here. And it's fun to change the one I already designed into something like this is a dwarf version. <laughs> uh, elemental. Oh, here's a male gnome. This is a female gnome. Oh, what terrible hair. <laughs> Look at the cute ears, though. Mm -hmm. You don't have to keep that hair. Like, you can change the hair. Mm -hmm. This is what I originally wanted to be, which was a half demon. Black Soka. Is that a tail? Yeah, they have tails. Oh, well, that's cool. Sorry, David, they don't have Tengus as an option. They have dragons, so you could have scaly feet and stuff. And they have wings, but they don't have, like, an actual bird face. They do have a canine face, though, so... Uh, oh. Yeah, and you can... You know what's really cool is that then you can select which material you want it printed at and what size, and the cheapest is only $15 to have <laughs> your own little mini fig. Oh, so they, they uh, like, 3D print. Yeah, it's cool. But anyway, just throwing that out there for anyone else who might be interested. Hmm. Laura asks, uh, speaking of discovery, like, you know, Rosie and Marie having to discover things, mm -hmm. how much discovery is there for Jackson? Oh. Jackson is already starting to tap into, like, her big powers, though. Her potential, at least. Yeah. And to be fair, like, Jackson has a little bit of a leg up when it comes to that, because it's, she remembers, like, what her mother could do. She saw the capabilities of a weather witch. She just doesn't have as much training as would have been preferable. And has, in fact, spent years trying instead to muffle it. Do you think Jackson is as strong as her mom? Stronger. Mm-hmm. How can you be stronger than somebody who can do everything Zora did? Well, so can Jackson. Mm -hmm. I think I think Jackson's like potential is stronger. Her ability right now is not stronger. Just you know, she has not honed it. Mm -hmm. But imagine like 
imagine how much Jackson has bottled up. You know? Imagine how much more potent a lot of her abilities would be. Mm -hmm. uh, and imagine how much more chaotic they would be. So far we've shown her being pretty spot on with her stuff. Yeah, but like... Zora could craft individual snowflakes and things. Could pull in a whole blizzard and things. And shape it exactly. <clears throat> Polina wants to know, will Claire have the same abilities as Clementine, or will there be some powers unique to her? You'll see. We can't give away everything. But I will tell you that Claire is not Clementine. So I suppose the answer would be, what do you think? I mean that in a completely non-condescending way, by the way. I'm sorry if it came off condescending. It wasn't supposed to be a, what do you think? Um, anyway, I'm going to drink my water now. <laughs> yeah, she started to answer that and I was like, shoot, that's just a lot of information. <laughs> wow. I know you were. What was the really huge thing that Ash revealed to you very early on, Sarah? It was about Claire's horns. Oh, yeah. It was coming up within a page or two, though. Like, Not a page or two. It was... Really? Yeah, it, it was really actually off. quite a ways off. Yeah. <laughs> Bobby. <laughs> Bobby. It, it was, was not a problem. It, it was, was like, like half a year before it appeared. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> but you and I had already been talking about it, um, and I had been planning what they could look like, because I had not designed it yet. One of the saddest things ever... Oh, oh shit. Uh, where'd they go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? <clears throat> well, I can't find the It's lid. behind me. Is it? I heard it. You don't see it behind me? Sarah has a magic ability to find lost bottle caps. <laughs> she found one that I dropped in the car earlier today while she was driving. She managed to like reach between the seats and scavenge it, and when I couldn't find it, and I wasn't even driving. <laughs> Thank you, Sarah. Um, that was speaking of uh, Claire's horns, though. That was actually really sad because when Elena and I conceived of that whole idea, Elena immediately like got a sketchbook and was doodling all these designs of Claire with horns and this was so early on after you moved here Elena that's how long ago it was because we went to Ikea uh -huh. and Elena accidentally put her sketchbook on a shelf in Ikea we realized it like that night I think or the next day or something and we called and asked if they had it and they didn't, but did we drive all the way back? We drove all the way back to Charlotte, and I was like, look, I went up to the Lost and Found, I was like, it looks like this, I know you must have it, we had it here just yesterday, and they were like, it's not in the Lost and Found, you're welcome to go check the store, and of course it was it gone. It was gone, yeah. Probably some other shopper found it, and was like, oh, cool, doodles, mm -hmm. I'm gonna take this. <laughs> Someone out there has priceless Sister Claire art. <laughs> Concept art. There was one design you did that I, I preferred to her current design. Um, I really, really wanted Claire to have ram horns instead of the branchy horns. I think I talked you out of it because it would be so hard to draw. I know, I know, but I thought they were so cool. <laughs> And you, the way you drew them in the picture looked so badass. And it would have really, like, differentiated Claire's silhouette from Clementine's. It's not that I, you know, actively dislike her horns now. I just, I really like the ram horns. Stop at Food Lion, get you some veggies, or at uh, 
There's Teeter and get some pledges. Or run over to Kuyama and get something. Or hmm? Run over to Kuyama and get something. Mm. Yeah. Hey, that is a thought. Yeah. Here comes just a thought. thought. Just a thought. Just a thought. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you just both. Just a thought, just a thought, just a thought, just a thought. But if anybody goes to Kurama, you can get me something too. <laughs> what do you want? Sushi or Simon pizza? Simon Hundral. And pizza. <laughs> oh, Raw oh. salmon pizza. I take it. What's wrong with having both sushi and pizza? I'm not eating the sushi on the pizza. Matt says, I can't see Claire with ram horns. It doesn't really fit her personality in any way. Oh, I think it does. I think sheer personality is changing. Yeah. I think Claire's a lot more stubborn and headstrong than you think. Like, she's been raised in an abbey and hasn't really had much of a reason yet to protest anything. She talked back to her ma'am. <laughs> but now that she knows what's up and is being exposed to the wider world, I think, like... Parts of Claire that have been muffled for a really long time are going to start surfacing. <laughs> Laura said, I think it would be so interesting from a character perspective because Clementine was the one literally charging at people with her horns and Claire's personality so far is a lot more subdued and then she gets ram horns because yes. <laughs> <clears throat> Um, oh, Laura had a question. She said, someone was talking about Clementine's horns the other day, I think in a live write. Where did the idea for Clementine having horns originally come from? Was that before she had nature powers? That was your idea, Ash. Mm -hmm. I can't remember how it came up, though. It came up in, like... Ellen is the one, I think, who conceived of Clementine having plant-based powers, I think. And, you know, it just occurred to me that I can't finish this explanation without spoiling something big time. So I'm just going to shut my mouth and slap my grandma. <laughs> <laughs> They ought to make a law, get the sheriff on the phone. Lord of mercy, how she even get them, them britches on? <laughs> Honky tonk, but donk a donk. <laughs> Got it going on like Donkey Kong. And ooh, he shut my mouth, slap your grandma. <laughs> they should have said, slap your meme off. <laughs> it's different depending on the state and region. And family. Uh-huh. That's for sure. Mima was a new one to me. Really? <laughs> yeah, and until you said the word Mima, I had never heard it in my life. And I was like, wow, that's so southern. Hmm. <laughs> Laura said, poor Mima, Ash. Don't worry, I would never actually slap my grandma. Um, I'm going to go visit her on Sunday. Slap Uncle Bill. Yeah, I'd love to. Well, let's not talk about my family. My Tear him up. <laughs> Tear him up. <laughs> let's not talk about my the more uh, <clears throat> egregiously crappy parts of my family. <laughs> egregiously crappy. Well, That's a good word. <laughs> I love the word egregious so much. <clears throat> <laughs> My favorite insult when I'm driving and someone like cuts me off or does something that almost kills us is to say, you egregious hoe bag. It's like a signature phrase. Got real far there, didn't you, asshole? Yeah, and that one. I think one of the times, like, speaking of that, that country song that you were just singing, Elena, um, I was in an Uber with Ryan several months ago, and that came on, and I sang the chorus, and Ryan gave me a look of such horror, like, what 
has possessed my friend. Why do you know this song? <laughs> I hope that you explain that. <laughs> that what explanation do you Me, mean? the most northern European, not southern person ever taught you the lyrics to that song. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. I was like, well, you see, once upon a time, Elena and I were driving to a con and she played this on Spotify. <laughs> And the reason I know that song is because I used to be in a role play on Gaia Online. Mm. I attend a role play and I had a friend who was from Florida and liked to be, you know, the most southern person in the room. Kind of like you do when you're around non-southern people. And she wanted to, she had heard that I had just moved to Georgia and she was like, oh, well, if you want southern, listen to this shit. This is what my mom plays in the car. She <laughs> turned me on to Trace Adkins. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Is it Trace Adkins or, or Tracy? It's Trace Atkins. Trace is his name. Atkins. Okay. And if you're anyone <clears throat> listening to this is interested in hearing the song that we were just singing, it's called Honky Tonk Badonka Donk by Trace Atkins. <laughs> <laughs> I highly recommend it to anyone. Honky Tonk. <laughs> It's a classic up there with the booty song. Big booty, little, little booty, booty, juicy yeah. booty. <laughs> I made get the booty. I made Sarah laugh the other night because I was <laughs> I was quoting that song and she said that sounded a lot like it. <laughs> <laughs> um, Space Budgie asks, why hasn't Olga's hair grown at all in their time away? Does she get it cut? Why hasn't her hair grown, Elena? I don't know. Maybe Jackson's cutting it for her. Yeah, probably. Maybe she just wills it not to grow and it's too scared to disobey her. Hmm. I would be scared. Maybe Olga has a really not very useful superpower to control her hair growth. Maybe she's really the most vain of them all, and she takes proper care. Every to morning, her shearing scissors. Uh, Olga holds up her machete and cuts her hair in the <laughs> reflection of the machete. I'm imagining like uh, Clayton from um, Tarzan. You know how he like shaves with his machete. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Olga does the same with her hair. <clears throat> I think we should do like last time and when I uh, finish inking this we can take a break to have food. How's that sound? What'd you say? I said I think we could do like last time and when I'm done inking we can take a break for food. How does that sound? That sounds... Elena giving sass and being the person that lists is the least in the room. For real. God, I was reading something. <laughs> Shit, Elena. <laughs> but I looked up in time to see Elena do this thing with her face like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch. That was your whole face. And I was like, well, pardon me all over the place. God. <laughs> what do you think, though? That sounds good. Okay. The reason Ellen I got was upset was because it was about food. It was about food, and also I'm trying so hard not to cough, and talking is hard, and I just have to repeat the whole thing. So, <laughs> so hangry. <laughs> so much hanger. <laughs> Laura said. She, and she realizes it will probably get answered in the page. Do Olga, Jackson, and Marguerite know they're close to the group? Or do they think Oscar is just taking a long bathroom break? No, they they think, they don't know. You know what? Let's, let's just see. I think you'll enjoy the page answering that for you. Ellen, a cough if you need to. It's not a cough. I just got an eyelash in my eye again. Oh. It's very uncomfortable. 
I'll be back, everybody. Don't, don't scream. Sorry, I can't help it. There's no way for me to get out of here. I'm scraping my shit. I'm going to be back. <laughs> yeah, let Sarah draw someone who actually has artistic talent. Let me draw Olga's inner thoughts. Let's see, how do I do a new layer in Photoshop? <laughs> what is that smell? It smells like, is it fake? It's Elena's peach tea. Oh God, it stinks so bad. It smells like fake peach. Yeah, it does. I hate that smell. Oh, I like it. <laughs> I Ooh. think it's okay. What should I hmm? draw as Olga's inner workings? How do you spell this? <laughs> I, think, I don't think it has an E. There you go. <laughs> okay, now spell badonk a donk. There you go. <laughs> God, Tara. <laughs> what is it? Ooh, Ooh. shut my mouth, slap your grandma. <laughs> Can you fit it all in there? No. It slap your grandma. Oh, shit. I don't do. <laughs> <laughs> I think she could go for the very punk rock eyelashes. I could see her. Oh, she looks like Oscar. <laughs> oh, I can see it. Like, okay. Sarah, you could. <laughs> Ash, I think you would do a better job. What? I don't know what it takes. That's my best. <laughs> <laughs> These are tears, not speech. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, erase it. It's not supposed to be a not safe for work time job. <laughs> Eleanor will never know. <laughs> <laughs> no one tell Eleanor. <laughs> no one tell Eleanor what has, what has been wrought. <laughs> <laughs> She'll think this is the worst of it. <laughs> I, have, I have no, no, uh, mm, <clears throat> Someone said give her a mustache. A mustache. Yes, a, a fine shell mustache. What the hell's that? The mouth. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Give her whiskers, little whiskers. There you go. <laughs> what up should I draw? Hmm. 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 I'll draw Sonic. Sonic? Sonic the Hedgehog? Because her hair is like Sonic's hair. Oh, okay. I don't even know what Sonic looks like. I don't do my very best. Though. This looks more like... <laughs> I think that's a pretty good Sonic. Yeah. yeah I think most people would recognize. I know he's got these giant fists. With bracelets. <laughs> Is 
This is excellent. Thanks. He's got a little body and also giant feet. Yeah, I remember the giant feet. <clears throat> Moon shoes. <laughs> My God, you drew his foot bigger than his head. <laughs> it's, it's my style. Ed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Gotta go fast. Any more requests in the chat? Are there any more requests? Things that Sarah can draw. The dick was your idea, Ash. Yeah, it was. I own it. <laughs> There's uh, two requests. Several requ requests, actually. Uh, give Olga sonic hair. Boobies. She has sonic hair. Yeah. All I have to do for that is trace this glory that's already on her head. <laughs> Someone said boobies. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, you got great boobies. Yeah, she she said. The birds. I can the, draw a bird. Yeah, Sarah's good at drawing birds. Don't make a liar out of me, Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just drawing a silly bird. I'm not drawing a realistic bird. Okay. <laughs> I can draw better birds than this for everyone's information. <laughs> and now here are the turbines and... Here's the trail of smoke. It's a bird mobile. I can see Elena about to come back in. Mm -hmm. Did you get it, dear? I don't know. Don't let the door slam. Yeah. yeah, they're right here. You left them. <clears throat> I left you a surprise. Thank you. That's lovely. <laughs> You're welcome. Look at that amazing perspective on the foot. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was trying to ask. Ash was like, man, the foot is bigger than the head. That's a perspective. Can someone help me with this? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's wrong? I think there's still stuff in my eye. Yeah, there is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
Do you need to go inside your eyes somewhere? It's not doing anything. It's just making my eye really puffy and. I can't find it. So. Do you, did you try the broom trick again? Yeah. <clears throat> well, you did have a cable after all. Can you hand me a napkin or something, David? Are there any here? If you need a napkin, there's some within the cabinet. Try again, dear. I can't tell where it is, it just, I, sometimes it feels like it's just poking me in the eye. I don't understand how my whole life I have never had this happen, and suddenly it's happened like three times in the last three months. Like, am I dropping eyelashes constantly? Like, mm -hmm. what's happening? <laughs> oh, Proxy asked, is there such a thing as a plague witch, like a witch who can deliberately create or cause sickness? Let's go with, that's a good question. Space Fudgy asks, oh Yamino, how are you feeling? Do you still have the con crud? I had the con cred before we even went to the con, and I do still have it, and to be honest, I'm feeling pretty bad right now, but I have a doctor's appointment finally, so I gotta wait a weekend, but I hope they fix me after. I kept hoping it would go away, and it's not, so it's time for some antibiotics or something. <clears throat> Hmm. 
Clara said, so. It seems the reason why Clementine has horns, or some of the reasoning behind it, is spoiled here. Could the flowers that come from her horns ever have plot relevance? I wonder. <clears throat> we'll see. Avatar Tag asks, do you follow any sort of flower symbolism for what flowers pop out of Clementine's horns in different situations? Yes, I do. I am all about some flower symbolism. Maybe not like the Victorian sign language, the no, no. flower language kind of symbolism, but... <laughs> Laura says, oh, speaking of, will we see the first time Claire pops flowers? Yes, you will. Squeezing that lemon. What? What are you talking about? I was just thinking about how you hate the popping the cherry. God. <laughs> you run a red light. When you run a yellow light, squeeze in that lemon. <laughs> Popping that flower. Stop. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, gross. <laughs> Don't tickle me, I'll cough on you. <clears throat> Polina Castle says, I have a question for Ash and Yamino. What is it like living in Georgia? Well, I wouldn't know because I have never lived there, but Elena can tell you. We live in North Carolina now. Depends what you want to know. I don't know very much outside of my little art school bubble. My little art school. My little art school. My little art school. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> uh, Deadly Cipher asks, Ash and Yamino, do the symbols on Magpie's shirt mean anything, or are they just decorative? No, it's just some random thing I drew. <laughs> um, I think I replied in the comments 
but um, Magpie shirt design is based on uh, a real men's fashion shirt you can buy on Alibaba.com. <laughs> hmm. I think I replied to Captain Morgan about that. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Feel a little better. Whatever it is is still stuck in my eye, but it's only bothering me once in a while. Eventually it has to come out. I'm just tired of being sick and things randomly hurting and bothering me. And I'm sorry, dear. You're getting old. Yeah. I don't think the eyelash thing has anything to do with age. I think that's just really shit look. <laughs> and this walking pneumonia or whatever I have is me not wanting to go see a doctor and being like, it's going to get better by itself for two weeks. And then finally being like, uh, everything is a lot worse. Uh. What do you mean you can't see me till Monday? Mm-hmm. I have a sinus infection now. I really hope that's not what it is. <clears throat> oh wow, Avatar Tag says that their favorite place to vacation in North Car- is in North Carolina and it's Sunset Beach. Oh. That's where we always go. Yeah? Yeah. Well, it's a great place. I see why you like it. It's a really nice place. <clears throat> Laura asks, hey, who in the Abbey knew about Olga's werewolfy magic aside from Jackson? Yolanda. I think that's all. Off the top of my head, that's all. Marguerite may have known something. Probably, yeah, probably as the healer, Marguerite would know. She, they know about, I'm going to say, Olga's condition. <coughs> Excuse me. (laughs) Sorry, I know it sounds gross. Hmm. <clears throat> Tag said, if you are ever there and there's a mass of people having races, building human pyramids, and tug of war, that's my family. <laughs> we'll be sure to say hi. Oh, Lord. All 60 plus of us go there for reunions. Ooh. That sounds like Sarah's family. Yeah, it does. That's a big family. They don't go to that beach, though. They go to uh, Myrtle Beach. Yeah. <laughs> regards to Olga's condition. Is it still in her? I thought she got better. Well, I guess better is kind of a flexible term. Like, is the fungus that made all of this, like, happen gone? Yes. But it left scars. And, uh... It left little things behind. It's implied in that live right, uh, not live right, it's implied in that missing moment where, like, Mother Abby is helping Olga learn control again that, like, what happened to her with the moon wolf. Uh, Caused fluctuations in her strength, in her already existing great strength. 
It's why she was moving the eggs from one basket to another and trying not to break them. <clears throat> oh, Polina Castle asks what body surfing is. It's when you use only your body to try to surf in a wave, like you don't use a boogie board or a surfboard or anything. You just try to catch the current yourself. It's a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. I prefer boogie boarding, less choking on water. And sand. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like sand. It's coarse, <laughs> rough, and irritating. <laughs> it gets everywhere. <laughs> Here everything is soft and smooth. <laughs> Yes, that was me, David. <laughs> <laughs> it's a me, I, uh, David. Uh, <clears throat> <clears throat> David. <laughs> <laughs> Chibi Chibi wants to know how does the Moon Wolf compare to Wolf Witches and stuff and things, like. Wolf witches are people who <clears throat> have developed the ability to shift into wolves or, like, wolf-like creatures with their magic. Like, moon wolves are people who have been uh, infected by a particular fungus that causes them to behave in a manner that is extraordinarily erratic. Um, and to change. And to change. Uh, it does give them quite a lupin appearance, or lupine. It actually... It can. It doesn't look... It looks sort of like a wolf, but it doesn't turn them into a wolf. It turns them into something that's almost more of a baboon. Yeah. Like, it gives them animal features that I wouldn't necessarily say are wolfish, but that's what they got called and the name kind of stuck. Yeah. they. I think it's more the behavior that's wolfish. Uh, but they are transformed into something, uh, into a vector that can more easily communicate the infection, like longer muzzle. I don't know that they even act like wolves, because wolves, you know, they work in packs and stuff, and moon, uh, moon wolves, they tend to just go off alone trying to infect people. They, they act like people think wolves act like, in terms of like being vicious, and you know what I mean. <clears throat> I don't like sand. Oh, Chibi said, so the moon wolf fungus is like that fungus that takes over the ants' brains? Cordyceps, yes, it's, yeah, a lot like that. Paulina wants to know, does Olga have any memories from when she was a moon wolf? Yep, some. I thought she couldn't remember what she had done. She can remember some things. Uh, keep in mind that a lot of it would be hard to differentiate from dreaming. And would be very, like, fragmented. <clears throat> Matt said, Last of Us Werewolves. Yeah, it's a lot like that. Chibi said, I understand the thing now. I'm always happy to clarify. Oh, you're giving her bell bottoms and yeah. not shorts? No. Okay. And like a true flower child, she's going to be barefoot here. Because why not? I mean, if you wanted to be sure.
It's not going to stay that red color, it's just so I don't forget about it. Proxy asks, did Olga ever kill someone as a moon wolf before finding the Helsings? Well, I mean, she infected a lot of people, so thus, you know, pretty much committed them to death. But, like, if you mean did she savage anyone or tear them to pieces, no, that's, that's not what a moon wolf does. At least not usually. I mean, she might have if they tried to lock her up or something. Sure, but, yeah. Which it's likely someone did try to do. So. I wouldn't rule it out. I think she doesn't <clears throat> know, and that's what's it really kills her, not knowing. Mm -hmm. Something she tries not to think about too much. Yeah. <clears throat> <clears throat> hmm. Space Budgie said, Would all those people dying by Abby's hands cause a shard? A giant moon wolf shard? Hmm. 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 There's something I can't say, so I'll say instead that's a good question. Laura wants to know, did any of the infected people from Olga's village and surroundings escape Mother Abraham's purge? Probably some. If you're asking, you know, did some moon wolves, like, manage to go about still infecting other people and being, you know, a problem? There may have been one or two, but Mother Abraham is pretty thorough. Uh probably also sent out patrols and things after the fact to mop Finish up the job. Yes, mop up anything that she didn't get to herself. Deadly Cipher asked, So basically moon wolves are just like those spitting zombies in Left for Dead 2. No, they're not quite the same as spitters. Like I but don't know what those are. They're, they're very, I mean, it's similar. I mean, they're a lot like zombies in general. Something that... Something kind of awful is that they often, like, keep their consciousness. Like, Olga was still pretty lucid when she reached the Helsings. Um may have had moments of mania and stuff, but for the most part was able to keep her head. And the moon wolf that infected her, I don't know if you all remember, was apologizing to her as it did it. They do have moments of clarity.
Okay, the inking is done. So, I think we should take a short break for food. Is that acceptable to everyone? Mm-hmm. Romantic Fox asked a really good question. Do you think some moon wolves might have sought the Hellsings as a way to end their suffering if they kept their consciousness? And Proxy said, I don't think they have that level of control, Fox. In some cases, they can have more control than you would think. Uh, and that's if they happen to wander into a cold area. They're able to regain some of their faculties that way. Stops the spread of the fungus and may even kill it. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but we are going to take a short break, everyone. Shall we uh, turn off the stream for that point? Yeah. Okay, and we'll turn it back on. Uh, just stick around in the chat or keep an eye on my social media because I'll post again when we're about to start up. And if you're watching this on YouTube, thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for the next video where I will finish coloring the page. See you then.